So Farmer Nicole here at Circle C Farm, and as you can see, the puppies are out for the evening running around in their bigger spot. A lot of them taking potty breaks right now. Um, we've got the sheep, a group of our sheep here, so that they can start to work around the puppies to desensitize the puppies and the sheep to the puppies um, to expose them to the sheep. Um, mom's here, obviously, so they're going to play and do stuff like that. Um, they're going to walk around the sheep. We've got the cattle in the back. So the next exposure that the puppies will have later next week will be with the cows being around here. And again, this is our diva dog house over here. And it's underneath of another car, or um, not a carport, but a style structure, but underneath one of our oh, pole barn styles. And we've got their dog house, which they are becoming very, very comfortable hopping up on that little second story. And in the second story, we've got some dry food. And so what we're really conditioning them for is that when they transition to their next home, then they will have an opportunity to know where their space is, their safe space, they're outside, so they're getting exposed to all the lightning and the thunder and all those things. And they're really chill about it. They're hanging out. They're sleeping underneath the, um, underneath the dog house and the sand, which we made sure we put down some DE for the ants so we don't have an ant problem. And then in the top part, they're playing and laying around. And then there's a dog house, kennel style house on the other side with some foamy cushion in which they're destroying. But I, I knew that, so I did it on purpose to give them something else to play with. Um, and so the reason why it's done this way is because they're going to get used to a structure of whatever sort that'll have their food, their water in it, they feel safe. And then in the meantime, they're still getting exposed to all of the different livestock here. Um, they've been exposed to the goats, which was an interesting interaction, but they were cool with it. They just realized that the goats kind of butt heads on occasion. They've been exposed to the sheep, like I said, cows, calves, bulls next week. And then now we've got them puttering back and forth and around. And then in their dog house, they have, they've got some raw out on the tray. They've got dry food. They've got an automatic water in the corner right there. And then they can hop up and down and there's some different cushions and some chewy toys and things like that. So this way, and then I've got milk for them for this evening in addition to mom, because she's in the process of weaning them off. So, okay, we'll go check out what's going on over here. Um, but that's what we've got going on with the puppies. Just want to give you an idea of what's happening here at the farm and uh, let you know how they are doing and how they're progressing. And honestly, just how wonderful they are and how intelligent and responsive and so that's really pretty much it for this evening. So there's the sheep and with the puppies, our Marema Livestock Guardian Dog Puppies. I am Farmer Nicole at Circle C Farm. Have a wonderful day.